Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to fix graphics card problems in Windows 10. Now you can see this particular error code here, which is um, opencl.dll was not found and uh, reinstall the program may fix the problem. And also you've got some other error codes up there, unsupported graphics card and other types of error codes like these, which can be very common and pop up on your screen. So let's go ahead and take a look at how you can resolve these problems. So first off, I wanna deal with the opencl.dll. Go into your Windows directory here. And once you're inside here, go up to the top right hand corner and do a search for opencl. And sometimes what you can find in here is a copy of that file in the file repository. So type in here and push enter. It will do a search on your computer. It will take a bit of time. But if you're lucky, you will have that opencl.dll file in the file repository uh, folder, which means you can just copy that file across to your Windows system 32 folder so you can see here it's already detected a bunch of opencl.dll files inside here and what you're looking for here is this file this is the file that will be either uh, missing and you can then look inside the file repository directory here and you will see there is files here now these are identical you can see the syswell64 area as well that's the same file and what you're looking for is identical files. So you can copy these across into that directory and hopefully, now in some circumstances, it may not work and you may need to reinstall the graphics driver and that's not a problem. I'll show you all of that in a second, but let's go to the Windows directory and then System32. And what we're looking for is that file here. Now there will be a file in there, but if your file is not in there, you could just copy that file and drop it into that directory and you should be good to go. Now, if you don't have the opencl.dll file in there, don't worry about it. I'll show you a fix for that as well. So you can see here, you'll need privileges to uh, paste this in. So we can just say continue and it will copy that file across. Now, if we look at the files themselves in, in this search box here, you can see they're all identical here. They're from the same um, manufacturer. They're from the same company and you can just copy those files across. As long as they're identical, you should be good to go. So let's move on to the next step, which you can take to try and resolve this issue. Right click on the start button here and go device manager. Inside here, we're gonna click on display adapters. Click on there and drop that arrow down and you should see your graphics card inside here. You can right click on here and update driver. Sometimes updating the driver will resolve this problem. You can do a search automatically online or you can go to the manufacturer's website and download that driver and reinstall it. Sometimes Windows is a little bit behind uh, NVIDIA drivers and AMD drivers. So if you find that is the case, then you can always download it from the manufacturer uh, website, which is NVIDIA or AMD. So that's just going out there and doing a little search on the internet for the driver. It's probably gonna say it's got the latest driver in there, which is okay, it doesn't really matter. There may be still a problem and you may need to uninstall that driver and I'll show you that uh, stage in a second. Now, there's a few ways you can go about doing it. It's entirely up to you which way you go about doing this. You can see it says the best driver for your device is already installed. It doesn't mean it's working correctly. So what you wanna do is go through the next step of uninstalling that driver. So let's go ahead and uh, close this box out and we'll go back to the uh, device manager window here. So right click on here and you can see uninstall device. You'll see the uninstall device box should pop up and you will see delete the driver software for this device. This is always advisable because any remnants left behind can still cause problems even after you've installed the driver. So clicking uninstall with that tick box in there will remove everything and you can go to the manufacturer's website and download the Nvidia driver or AMD. I prefer to use DDU which is device driver uninstaller. It's a much more thorough process and will remove all of the driver from the computer. Now this will remove Nvidia drivers, Intel drivers, and also AMD drivers. And I find this to be the probably the best way to resolve a lot of graphics card driver issues that you may be having. Now, some people may not want to go down this route and download software off the internet. If that is the case, then use the previous method, which I showed you, which is 
going to delete uh, that folder you will need to probably search for nvidia and amd or whatever it is you're using to remove any remnants if you are doing it the other way but if you're doing it this way this will take care of it all for you so it's asking you to back up your data and make sure uh, you read all of their terms of service which means they offer no warranty for using this software as you would expect there is some advanced options in here which you can use but i would leave those alone so let's close off the advanced options box and go straight back to the device driver uninstaller you can see it's already detected that we're not in safe mode this software likes to uninstall the driver in safe mode so that is probably the best way to go about it because it's a better way to clean uh, your system from uh, the graphics drivers so go into the search box and type ms config and open up the system configuration tool inside here you can head over to the boot tab and put in safe boot you can either leave it minimal which will have no internet connection or you can go down to network and this will give you internet connectivity through safe mode click ok restart your computer and restart display driver uninstaller and remove the driver from there once you've done that you can go back into ms config and put normal startup and you should be okay to go back to normal startup you would do that from safe mode once you've uninstalled the driver i'm just going to show you from the desktop here and i'm not going to complete the whole process because my system is working perfectly fine go over to select device type and select your gpu which is nvidia amd or intel in my case it would be nvidia but if you've got either one of the others you can go ahead and select that once you've got that selected once you're in safe mode you would go to clean and restart this is highly recommended it will remove any drivers from your computer and it will thoroughly remove all the remnants left behind and then you can go ahead and reinstall the driver you would go over to nvidia's website and you can also go over to AMD's website and download the drivers from there. You would do this while you're in safe mode with networking and download it from there, or you can do it before you boot into safe mode. It's entirely up to you. I would advise you to download them at the desktop, get everything in a folder and get it all prepared and then reboot into safe mode and continue with the uninstall process. Select your graphics card drivers here, or you can automatically detect it, whatever you wanna do, and then download that latest driver and once you've cleaned all of the remnants of the driver out of the computer you can go ahead and install it and it will then resolve a lot of those problems that you were having this is always the best policy for problems with graphics card drivers they can be a bit problematic and sometimes windows puts a driver on that it doesn't like so always go to the manufacturer's website which will be nvidia or amd and download the correct driver from there now if you're still having issues trying to install this driver because windows keeps installing the driver and you're still having issues then what you'll need to do is disable that feature from windows temporarily go to the search box and type in here uh, control panel and go to the control panel and what this is going to allow you to do is go into uh, the devices and printers so go to devices and printers and what we're going to do is temporarily disable the driver installation part so go to your computer which will be up on the top here so you should see it here there you go yours will be a different name whatever you've named it right click on this and you can now go to device installation settings on here you will see do you want to automatically download manufacturers apps and custom icons that is available for your devices there's also another way of disabling uh, driver installation and it should stop that from happening and give you enough time to uh, put in your own driver once you've done that you can revert it back and let windows take care of all the other stuff but basically that's how you can resolve this problem very simple and easy to do this is how you can fix common error messages like opencl.dll error codes or missing and that's how you can do it my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk you can use this method for pretty much any driver issue for graphics drivers thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.